Welcome to I Am Global Channel. This is Apostle Praise. Have you subscribed yet? If you have not, I urge you that you subscribe because the content of this channel is the content that is relevant to the end times. This is where the Holy Spirit is strengthening us, empowering us to make the prayers that are relevant to the end times. And now I'm coming with part three three of the message dealing with um, the chameleon spirits and if you are tuning in to this message for the very first time if this is part three part one is here check it in the in the playlist of this channel and part one is dealing with the types of relationships that this the spirit would attack uh, and part two is also dealing with them with the spirit what it does when it attacks the, the house of the lord you know it deals with the with the chameleon agents of satan all right and you don't want to miss that because we want we cannot start 2022 with a chameleon spirit on our shoulders so we are coming against them in the name of jesus removing them from our lives in jesus name and in this in this in this in this part that is part three i'm coming back as i promised that we we, we need to know how to overcome the spirit so in part three this is where then i'm gonna be taking you uh, through the steps of the prayer what is it that you need to do to deal with and overcome the chameleon spirit all right so i'm gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step approach of this prayer so that you are strategic all right because this spirit is a spirit that that uses the wisdom of the darkness all right so you need to be very strategic when you are dealing with it because this is the spirit that might still be in your life all right because this is the spirit that is deceiving this is the spirit that double crosses this is the spirit that ten codes, all right? It is the spirit that has two, it is a two-faced spirit and it is great in pretending, all right? It's the spirit that changes itself so that it is what you would want it to be. So it's difficult to know, you know, the, you know who is this person that we're dealing with, especially when we're dealing with the agents of uh, the chameleon agents, all right? So... We need you to know then how to overcome the spirit. So are you ready then to take you through the prayer? All right. So uh, instead of me doing this prayer, I want you to know the steps, all right, that you need to take when you are praying. The first thing that you need to do whenever you're going to get into the battlefield, all right, you need to make the prayer of forgiveness, all right, so that every sin that is in you, you know, it is taken away from you because you cannot get to the battlefield with sins in your life because the, the, the demons will be able then to see the sins that are in you and ignore you and say that with you, having that and that, you think that you can come against us. So you need to come against the kingdom of Satan with the rope of righteousness all right and as we know that the blood of jesus christ the bible says in the book of psalm 51 that it washes us whiter than the snow so repent that is the first thing that you need to do all right you need to repent so and um, and, and ask the lord to forgive you okay and then the second thing that you need to do which many of us then will get into prayers with without having done this all right and it is in the word the lord is so faithful to his word he's not gonna change it because it is you he's not gonna he's not he's not gonna come with adjustments all right because if he does that if he changes the word remember that the word is is jesus christ as the bible says in the book of john it says that in the beginning was the word and the word was, was with god and the word was god so any adjustment that will be made in the in the word then will lead to jesus christ being crucified for the second time so it's something that cannot be done god is so faithful to his word all right and this is what he says in the book of mark 
chapter 11, verse 25, it says that, and when you stand praying, forgive. So many of us, we get into prayers, all right, without having for, forgiven. First, to forgive yourself, all right, for having allowed yourself to be entrapped by, by the chameleon spirit, all right, to allow the spirit of the chameleon to blind your eyes. So you need to forgive yourself. And secondly, you need to forgive everyone who has trespassed against you. It's very important because, because God the Father will not forgive you if you have not forgiven your enemies. Now, the third thing that you need to do, you need to renounce the covenant with the chameleon spirit, all right? Because for as long as you need to know first that you would not have been attacked by this spirit if you had not covenanted with it. There is nothing that Satan can do against us without the covenant. Understands the principle of the covenant that God operates through covenant. There is nothing that can happen in the realm of the spirit without the covenant. So Satan is aware of that. So the spirit has attacked you because you gave it the legal rights, all right, to enter into your life, all right, and to attack you. Because if this person, you did not know that this is the chameleon agent of Satan. You thought that this person is born again, all right? So, but now the God has opened your eyes through this message so that you remove then all the chameleon agents that are in your life, all right? And also all those, the relationships that have been attacked by the, by the chameleon spirit. So you need to drive away Drive away the spirit of the chameleon from, from your marriage, all right, from the relationships that you have at the workplace and also from, uh, from, from, from the bloodline relation. Drive away those spirits so that they don't come and, and, and bring you backwardness, stagnation, losses and damages, all right, and because this is the assignment of the chameleon spirit into your life all right so now you need to renounce you know denounce the covenant because for as long as the covenant is still intact that spirit will say that i'm going nowhere because i have an agreement with you all right so it's very important that you break the covenant even when you do the deliverance any deliverance all right a person that that the Holy Spirit is using you to deliver, all right, uh, from demons. First thing that you need to do as, as a deliverance minister, you need to make the person, all right, who's going to go through the process to renounce the spirits, all right. Otherwise, those spirits will not move because they are holding on the principle of the covenant. So break the covenant with all the chameleon spirits assigned against you. And you can say that assigned against my marriage, assigned against my, my career progress, assigned against uh, my spiritual growth, assigned against um, my, uh, my, my, my family, my bloodline, all right? So you need to break all those covenants in the name of Jesus. Is you going to be making this prayer? You need to make it in the name of Jesus, all right? Because there's power in this name, all right? As the Bible says that, that at the mention of the name Jesus Christ, all knees of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things under earth, go down. All right, they bow down. All right, and every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So, when you are looking at this, there's so much when the Bible says that there's so much power in the name of Jesus. When you are mentioning the name of Jesus Christ, the authority of that spirit, all right, goes down. The powers of that spirit bow down. The assignment of that spirit bows down, all right? And that spirit begins to open its mouth 
and stand in agreement then with the power that you are bringing, which is the power of Jesus Christ, and then it makes that confession. And then it says that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So then it agrees that I'm already defeated because you are coming with a name that carries power. And this name has got the authority, all right? So we draw the authority from the name of Jesus Christ, all right? And we use the power that is in the name of Jesus, all right? Using the authority that we receive, all right, from us being then the born again, all right? You cannot use this name with success if you are not born again, all right? So you need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And now, going to the fourth thing that you need to do, all right, now, you know, when you get to the spiritual realm, the spiritual realm has got no boundaries, all right? The spiritual realm has no time, no specific time. So everything happens with speed, all right? And there are no boundaries. So what it means is that when I'm entering into the spiritual realm, then I need then to indicate as to who, who am I? All right, that is the first thing. So you need to say that you are born again. So when you are saying that you are born again, you are you are announcing in the spiritual realm to which side that you belong. All right, do you belong to Jesus Christ or you belong to the kingdom of darkness? So if I say that I'm born again and Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior, then the angels understand that language and come close to you. All right, and the kingdom and the and the truth of God also then knows that then this this is our child all right he's our child and he's proclaiming our power all right and he says that it belongs to us so you need to announce that so that the curtains of heaven can be open for you all right so then then you need then as you are entering into the spiritual realm the next thing that you need to do then you need to zone locate the spirit all right, because there are so many, the spirits are innumerable, the demons are innumerable. So you need to indicate then which demon that you are dealing with because all of them will be responding and you are here to deal with a particular demons, all right? And these are the chameleon demons. So you need then to say that in the name of Jesus, I'm, I'm locating you with the light of God. I'm locating all the chameleon spirit assigned against me, assigned against my church, all right? And you mentioned the name. So you need to be very specific in the spiritual realm because if you are vague, then you, you, will, not, you will not succeed if you are vague. You need to say things as they are, all right? So you say that in the name of Jesus, I lose the light of God. Let the light of God now locate all the chameleon spirits assigned against me and the bible says that this is what the bible says that is that god has given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven all right and he says that whatsoever you loose on earth it is loosed in heaven so right now you are losing the light the light to go and locate all right and then you say that this light let it locate all the chameleon spirits that have been attacking me, all the chameleon spirit assigned against me by the, by the kingdom of darkness. Now you are zoned with the light of God in Jesus' name and I command the light of God. Let it first locate you, secondly zone you in the name of Jesus and when you are zoning you are saying that this is what I'm dealing with and all other spirits must move must move away I'm dealing with this particular this this particular demons all right that's very important that you do that otherwise all the spirits is either they will all come against you all right and gang against you or they will just not just ignore you. Why? It's because you have not mentioned exactly what you have come. Therefore, it's very important that you be very specific 
in your prayers all right then let's move then to the next step i think the next step now who's counting i'm not sure but i think maybe it's the fifth step all right <laughs> i don't know maybe it's the fifth step so now with the fifth step then remember that the demons the demons hide okay and there's a message here there's a message here in this channel that says that when the demons hide, what what you should be doing. So if you have not if you have not uh, uh, listened to that message, I'm inviting you that you miss you listen to it first before you can do this prayer. All right. So demons hide, and the reason that they hide is because they don't want they don't want to be cast out. They don't want you to be reached. They don't want you to be destroyed because they understand the power of Jesus Christ that is far greater than their powers. All right. So you are coming with the power, power singular of Jesus Christ, all right? And they have powers because demons carry powers, all right? But the power of Jesus Christ against all the powers is far greater, is immeasurable. That's what I love. It's unlimited, all right? It's undefeatable. This is what I will do when I'm boasting about my Jesus and entering into the spiritual realm. You need to have that boldness, all right? Have you dealt with the agent of Satan? It will say that I will. This is what they will do, threatening. I will do this. But we, people of God, we don't come with that attitude. And the Bible says that we must come with boldness before his throne. So you need to come with that confidence and boldness and, and, and boast about the power of Jesus Christ. All right? Because if, if they begin to know that you know, you know who you are, and who you are in Christ Jesus, then they will begin to retreat, all right? Because they know that we perish for what? For lack of knowledge, all right? So when I come and I show them that I know what I'm dealing with, so I'm disempowering them, all right? I hope that you understand this and you are following it. Now, so as they are hiding, then it's very important then that you expose them. Okay, expose them. So let them the light, lose the light of God. Lose the light of God to expose them in the name of Jesus. I said that you are losing the light to locate where they are first in the name of Jesus. You are losing the light to zone them. Okay, you are losing the light to expose them in the mighty name of Jesus. They must be exposed in Jesus' name because some of them they've got them the troops, they are protected, they have the armor that is protecting them, and some they cover themselves with the cast, and others they cover themselves with the veil. All right, so then you need them to. to expose them using the light of God so that they every word that you speak it reaches them in the name of Jesus all right and then then there's one thing that I that the Holy Spirit is reminding me that I that I should have said to you all right that it's very important when before you start this prayer all right as you are entering the the realm of the spirit as you are introducing yourself all right you know, you can use Isaiah 49 verse 2. I love the scripture because there Jesus Christ says that I have made this. This is what he said that I have made your mouth like a sharp sword. I love that. And he says that in the shadow of my hand had I hid you. So that he has hidden us in the shadow of his hand. So meaning that as you are using this word, this word is coming out of your mouth as a sharp sword. So it goes and penetrates the heart of the enemy, the heart of the demon. So, so as you are introducing yourself, say that I am God he has made my mouth like a sharp sword and I'm hidden in the shadow of his hand. He has made my mouth like a polish shaft, all right, like the polish arrow, that's what it means, and he has hidden me in his quiver, so meaning that I'm coming here, you will not be able to see me because I'm hidden. 
So whatever that you want to do, you will not be able to reach me. I'm already covered. Remember that when you speak the word, the Bible says that the word of God is living. So when I speak it, it goes and do what it has been sent to do. All right. Because it's living. So it rushes and goes straight to the target and do exactly what it has been sent to do. All right. So then 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 when you are introducing yourself tell them what you have come here for and and tell them that t speak then and introduce yourself and say that your mouth every word that is going to be coming out of you then is like a sword amen is what the bible here says that in the book of isaiah 49 verse 2 he said that and he had made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand had he hid me and made me a polished sharp in his quiver had he has had he hid me. I love that. All right, because it's the scripture that says that there's power in this word. All right, and it's also a scripture that says that you will not find me. I'm hidden. All right. So then, now let's move. Then we we are in number what? In number six. Ne? I think it's number six. Then the spirits, as I was saying, that they they are hidden. All right, so you need then to remove the gates, remove the gates. All right, pull up the gates and burn the bars of the gates. Very important that you do that. Otherwise, you'll be you'll be doing this prayer and it will not be reaching the demon because it is still protected. Remember that the gates they use the gates to protect themselves from their own enemies. All right. So then I like it in the book of Naum, chapter three. Is Naum chapter three, verse thirteen, where then in Naum the Lord is releasing this prophecy. All right, prophecy is a prophecy against witchcraft. All right, and is releasing it through his prophet Naum. He says that then I burn the bars of their gates. All right, and make them to be open to their enemies. So you need to do that. And why are you doing that? Is that as I'm coming to you, now you don't have any protection because the gate is about the protection. So now I'm pulling up the gates, I'm burning the bars of the gate as what the Bible also says in the book of, of Ezekiel chapter 26 verse 2. When God fights, God fights strategically. He he fights it procedurally, all right? He plans his war. But we as, we as people of God, we just rise up and rise up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of you are all over, all over, no strategy. You don't do that in the battlefield. There is no soldier that is not trained for the battlefield. There is no soldier that is not told as to what needs to do when you get to the battlefield. You need to do this and that and that and that because you need to learn the weaknesses of your opponent and target them. And this is the same thing that Satan does against us. It's very important that you know what you are fighting, all right? And you use the right weapons, all right? Because there is a particular weapon for each and every demon. That's what the Lord does, all right? If you look at so God, if you go to the book of Ezekiel and check there, you know, the procedure that the Lord has done. He starts with the gates, all right, opens the gates to their enemies. And when he does that, then he 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 makes then the enemy will be busy with you, will be like, what, what is it? But then he's being attacked by other enemies, all right? So everything is is attacking these demons keep them busy and show that and announce in the spiritual realm after you have opened the gates and say that in the name of jesus i announce in the spiritual realm that your gates are open i'm announcing to your enemies that your gates of protection are open so your enemies can come and attack you 
And the enemies will use that opportunity. The enemies of the spirit will use that opportunity to come and attack. The same applies to the witches that attack you, all right? So you need, you need, you need, you need to open the gates of their protection, all right? So it's very, very, very important. That is, you use the two scriptures that I have given you, Ezekiel 26, verse 2 and also Naom 3 verse 13 and now the next thing that you need to do all right you need to remove the veil all right remove the cast what is it these are these are the things that they are using it to protect themselves all right remove it and if you have not had any message about what I'm talking about is here is here what to do when the enemy has hid itself when the demon um, is refusing to come out so then listen to what the bible here says all right in the book of um this is the book of ezekiel i love this all right i love this in the book of ezekiel where the lord is talking then about all those this 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 is what god is saying against all those who are practicing witchcraft all right and he says this i'm gonna read it in this simple version all right he says that in verse 17 says that now son of man set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own Im imagination prophesy against them and say this is what the sovereign lord says woo to the woman who so magic charms on on all their risks and make the veils he says that they make the veils of various length for their heads in order to ensnare people so they cover themselves with the veils they are heads with the veils so the lord here says that then he removes those veils this is what he says in the scripture so you can read it all right and get down up to and get up to verse 23 all right so read it on your spare time as we're going to be doing this prayer all right so the lord remove remove the veil you can remove the veil this this is the veil that is removed from the agents of satan so you can also do the same thing from the demons do remove the veil of the person who's bewitching you if you don't know who is bewitching you you can know the reason that you do not know is because he's hiding himself or herself and makes you to think uh, that is somebody else all right because that is what they do you know and to confuse us because satan uses deceiving spirits all right against and we're dealing with the chameleon spirit which is a double crossing spirit which is a spirit that that is deceiving is a spirit of of pretense all right that specializes in pretending all right so remove remove the veil otherwise you'll be confused all right you will uh, you will deal with something that is not is not it all right and then the next thing that you need to do remember that this spirit then there is nothing that satan can do against us without human beings because satan it does not have a body so he deceives then the witches the necromancers the the sorcerers and all other spirits all right to work for him okay so nothing can happen against humans without humans assisting satan all right satan will be out of business if all humans will turn against him oh i uh, so yearn for that day i uh, so yearn for them to know that the, what they are doing they are being used by satan but satan makes them then tells them lies and make turn them against us all right because he's he's, he's a deceiver now so there there will be an altar somewhere and that altar is a human being all right an agent of satan that released then the 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 chameleon spirit against your marriage against your workplace uh, your career life and so on your prayer life and so on all right and also against the house of the lord and sometimes then the agents as i said in part two that they also come in the house of the lord all right so it is very important then not to be oblivious of that all right so now 
as you are praying then the agents might send other demons in retaliation so then you need to ensnare them ensnare their authority against you ensnare their powers against you ensnare their assignment against you in the name of jesus and you can use it then psalm 11 verse 5 and in other version then it says that the 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 the, the throne of god would release the rain of of burning coals all right so ask the lord to release the the snares from his throne the rain of snares to come and arrest them and arrest them and arrest them in the name of jesus so that no one retaliates all right so you don't experience any reinforcement from the kingdom of satan in the name of jesus you need to do that it's called what wisdom is called what strategy in your prayer all right so arrest them in the name of jesus remember that there are certain things that they are using to connect with you all right they might be using mirrors they must be might be using screens all right using cameras using um, they also use the remote controls all right and the cell phones all right to connect with you so now you need to say in that in the name of jesus i am smashing i'm crushing all your mirrors with the hammer i'm crushing them in jesus name i say the hammer of every agent that is being used against me i crush your mirrors in the mighty name of jesus i crush all your screens with the hammer of the lord in the name of jesus and you can also go and and burn 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 their cell phones burn Burn, burn their remote controls. Let them melt as works under the fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus and crush, crush their cameras because they can come to your house and install, you know, spiritual cameras so as to study your movement. And because Satan is not all present. And remember that the chameleon spirit are the monitoring spirit, all right? So these are the spirits then that they will use all kinds of gadgets against you, spiritual gadgets against you. So you need then to release a fire and burn them in the mighty name of Jesus. You can even pull, 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 pull their, their, their umbilical connection from you in the name of Jesus and pull out their cables in in Jesus name that are connected to you connected to your residence because these are the spirits that come to your location they come to your ground so then you need them to pull pull out all their cables from your house pull them out there was one time when I had a dream and the Lord was showing me the cables and I was looking at these cables as to how they are running and the Holy Spirit said these are the cables of the kingdom of say see where they are and I was like oh they are coming to my house at these cables and they are underground. So it's very, very, very important that you lose the fire of the living God into the foundations of your house or the foundations of the place that you are praying at. And so, so that they burn, burn, burn all the cables of wickedness that are connected because they need to connect in order to attack us. All right need to know that is very 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 important and also you need to also understand that then uh, certain use need light so in in their altars these agents you'll find that they have all kinds of candles that they have put there and whenever they want to attack they have to 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 light them these candles all right and so the reason for that is because they understand the power of light so then uh, if you if you check then what God says about 2022, he says that he says that more darkness to darkness. So you need then to blow off their candles in the name of Jesus and lose the plague of darkness in Jesus name. When you are doing that, you are bringing then confusion. All right. You say that I lose the plague of darkness. 
plague of darkness against your wisdom. A plague of darkness. I say, let your wisdom be in darkness. Let all your witchcraft powers be in darkness in the name of Jesus. And when they are in dark, they will fumble and not know what to, to do and, and be so confused in the name of Jesus. It's called what? Strategy. You need to do that and remove the light that they are using because they will have they will have the red candle the green candle the purple candle the blue candle and the black candle the white candle all kinds that they are blowing so that's their light so blow them off in the name of jesus remember that when i say that i blow them off it happens as i speak in jesus name and ask you can ask also the 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 throne of god then then the, the throne of God to release that wind all right the one wind to blow off all the light that is in in the territory of the altar that is that has released the, the communion spirits against you now let's go down then now as we are dealing with the altar this, the, the, it is the altar then that would release the demons. That's why I'm speaking right now about the altar at this stage because you need to deal with it, disempower the altar, all right, and come later to destroy it. Remember that it is that altar that carries your things, all right? So you cannot destroy it first, all right, and before you have asked for your things to come back. You need your things, you need the restoration. All right, and so now you need then to go straight to the foundations of this altar. All right, release, release the light of God. Okay, release the light of God in the foundations of this altar. And when you are doing that, you are making then the roots of this altar to be weak. All right, you are making this altar not to have the foundation because it, it gathers strength from its foundation. So now when you are releasing the light, because these are the roots of darkness. So when you are releasing the light, they become weak and collapse. All right, or you can release the blood of Jesus Christ and say that every root of this altar, all right, let it drink the blood of Jesus Christ and die. Let the roots of this altar die in the name of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus Christ and die. So what you are doing then, you are weakening the altar. Weakening the altar. It will be unable to draw its powers against you. All right? You are not yet done. Okay? You are not yet done. And the other thing you now that you need to do, I have lost track of my counting all right so i'm gonna say that the next thing and the next thing and the next thing all right so the next thing that you need to do remember that we talked in part two that it is this the chameleon spirit they use their tail all right and they entangle they entangle the the branch and you are the branch all right i'm talking about you now as a born again so you are the branch or that is attached to the to the to the to the true vine so then they come and the reason one is going to be asking say but i'm attached to the vine so why 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 are they able to attack me satan uses the covenant all right it is us giving him the covenant and that covenant then it makes him to have the legal rights to come and attack us nothing happens in the spiritual realm without a covenant so that covenant it could have happened through evil feeding in the in, in in the dreams where you find yourself that you are you are eating something that you got and you don't know so that's that's a covenant and the covenant in the dreams can also be made through a handshake all right a covenant in the dream can be made through a kiss all right a covenant in the dream could be made also through you drinking a liquid that you don't know okay so all of those he has a way then of manipulating us deceiving us in dreams all right to get the covenant so when the covenant then when when you have made then that covenant with with that chameleon spirit or with the kingdom of darkness then the true vine is like okay because you are in him 
through the covenant so one covenant cancels the other covenant so that is why then in the beginning of this prayer you had to i asked you that you break the covenant with the chameleon spirits all right and break also the covenant with the agents the chameleon agents that have been assigned against you in the name of jesus so now then with the tail the tail that is coiled all around you so that you you don't get delivered all right because coiling you it says that you will never be set free all right it's coiling you so that you are in the absolute control of the spirit so now you need to come 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 with the sword come with the sword come with the burning sword of the lord and cut off the tail in jesus name and say in the name of jesus i'm cutting i'm cutting your tail i'm cutting your tail from me in jesus name i'm cutting it i'm cutting your grip in the name of jesus with the sword of the holy spirit in jesus name this is what i have seen is that you know when you do deliverance you will see and say that in the name of jesus i'm coming with the sword the moment you come and say I'm coming with the sword and then you touch you touch the person who's being delivered and then you touch just just release something that is sharp pointed all right there the demon will scream and say hey, hey, hey. all right they believe that is the sword all right so there is there is a spiritual psychology all right that you need to use so you can use the spiritual psychology and say I'm cut, I'm cut. All right, make a sound. Cut, cut, cutting your tail off me in Jesus' name. And make a proclamation that I am set free from you in the name of Jesus. All right, but you are not yet done with us. Remember that it uses the tail, all right? And also it got these eyes, then the chameleon spirit that have the 360 degree view. This is what we have said in part two of this message. So now, what do you need to do? Because with these eyes, it has been searching for information, collecting information, monitoring, registering every information about you in the second heaven where then the the archives of satan are all right registering you in many areas okay collecting this information studying you everything so now you need because it's got these eyes these are the monitoring eyes all right so you need them to strike them with blindness in the name of jesus this is what the lord did for prophet elisha in the this 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 is what the lord did this is this is in the book of second kings chapter 6 verse 18 all right when prophet elisha was was attacked he made a prayer a very short prayer he said that lord strike them with blindness so that they cannot see me all right so then this is what he said he said that when they came down to him elisha uh, prayed unto the lord and said smite these people i pray thee with blindness and what is it the lord did that and the bible say that and he smote them with blindness according to the word of elisha remember that now as you are coming now you are partnering with the lord because the rope of righteousness you started with the repentance so the repentance then it makes you to be the partner with jesus christ it brings that holiness that makes all the angels then to be with you all right the angels of war the angels of the lord of hosts are with you all right so then then this word then the lord will do because he's partnering with you he does not see any blemish in you all right so this is what he said he said that as you speak this word it will not come back void but will do the purpose that it was sent for so it will do exactly what you what what you are asking for all right so strike them with blindness there was a time, all right, the Holy Spirit is releasing this to me now uh, in my spirit. There was a time when, um, when, when there was a certain witch that came, that came to our church and um, being planted by Satan, all right, and her assignment was to kill me. You know what? No one will be, will, will be able to kill praise. You are wasting your time. 
because you never created me. And I'm also saying it to those who are watching this message uh, because they hate praise. I'm saying you will never kill me in the name of Jesus. You never created me in Jesus' name. So now, so then she came then with this assignment then to kill me. And then, then um, so I'm going to go straight to, to the point, all right, because it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a message on its own, all right? So, but then to get to the bottom of it, to say that then the person, the person who, who then um, was the mentor of this witch, all right? And then, um, so, so then, uh, apparently they were they were partnering against the praise that praise must be killed, all right? And um, and then um, um, so so what I what then the Lord the Lord took me to the scripture because I asked I said that how old is your mentor? I was asking the witch that was sent to because now God exposed. I want to say that then God exposed, all right? So then I said to her that. Um, then how old is your mentor? Then she said to me that I don't know her age. <gasps> so what it means is that, so I said, how old is she? And then she said that, no, she's over 100. She has stopped counting her years. So what it means is that this mentor is somebody who has been stealing the years, right? Killing children to steal the years of those children because that's what witches do, all right? So they kill, they, they do human sacrifices and then take the destiny, take the years of that child and add them to themselves. So then the Lord took me to this scripture, all right? Took me to this scripture because what we did, all right, was to, when we, when we were dealing with the altar of that granny, what happened is that the house burned down, all right? And this is true story. The house burned down. And then, and the Lord took me to the scripture. Then I, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, smite her with blinders, all right? And, and, and I asked that the Lord to do so. And then now, few weeks later, this woman, who was assigned to kill me, is coming to our church and he's saying that he's got a request, all right? And he says that this is the request that is coming from the mentor. And this request, the mentor is asking that if I can open her eyes. So I said, this word really works. So when I was saying that, you with blindness in Jesus name because I prayed I said Lord God you did it for prophet Elisha and you are not the respecter of persons I am your servant in the name of Jesus so I make the same prayer and I ask you that you smite them with blindness smite you with blindness in the name of Jesus coming later asking that let me lose hey her eyes so that she can see again. I said, provided that she accepts Jesus Christ, never came back. All right. What doesn't want to stop what she's doing? I said, I will do so provided you accept Jesus Christ. There's power in the word. So much power. When you are releasing it, it does what you have sent it for. In Jesus' name, because that is why it is called the living word, all right? It carries the power of the spirit of the living God. The breath of life, breath of the Holy Spirit is in it. So it is, it is, it is living word, all right? So you need to know that when you are releasing the word of God, okay? Now, let's get then to the tongues, all right? The tongue, remember that. The chameleon has got a very long, a sticky tongue, all right, that is projectile. So now you need then to cut that tongue, cut that tongue with the sword of the Holy Spirit, all right? 
Uh, because why it is because it is this tongue that he has been using to spread lies, spread gossiping, uh, gossips about you, and and to defile your name on the two to mortify you and so on it has been using all of those so now you need then to cut the tongue this is what the lord did all right uh, in the book this is in the book of jeremiah where the lord says that he cuts the tongue of the egyptian sea so cut the tongue cut the tongue of the of the spirit of the chameleon in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit now is taking me back to that information, that information that has been collected then through the eyes, that information of the monitoring spirit of the chameleon spirit. So now you need then to go straight to where the information is in the name of Jesus and ask the light of God in Jesus name to trace that information in the name of Jesus and it out with the blood of Jesus Christ because that information is is contrary to the plan of God all right it is information that is releasing the evil ordinances it is releasing the evil decrees releasing curses and so on so you need to blot it out with the blood of Jesus Christ and nail it to the cross as it is written in the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 I will never stop using that scripture the reason it is because I listened to a confession of an ex-marine agent who said that that scripture is so powerful what she says is that it doesn't matter what information how much time that they have spent in collecting that information because Satan is all about collecting information in addition to other stuff because the Bible says that he's here to steal to kill and to destroy so he needs information all right information of about his targets and so on so what she was saying then is that then they will collect all this information for their master so but he says that should you come with Colossians 2 chapter 14 all right the information just disappears and they have to start from scratch let them start from scratch all the time or or even just put the seal of the blood that you will not collect any information about me in jesus name so blot it out with the blood of jesus christ all right and then now the next thing that you need to do all right now you are getting then to the fruits remember that the chameleon spirit is about is about is about stealing your fruits satan when he fell he fell with nothing all right so the agents of satan whatever riches that they have are the riches that belong to us because we are the co-heirs with jesus christ all right and we are the ones who are blessed satan was not blessed there was no day there was no there was there was no angel that was blessed all right in the beginning of time it is us God made us in, in his image and his likeness and he blessed the first man and he says that be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth and subdue and subdue. It was us who were blessed. So Satan was an angel before he became this Satan. Okay. So then uh, he was not blessed. So he fell with nothing. All right. So then he's stealing everything from us. All right. So let then those fruits, because the chameleon spirit is coming in to steal your fruits. All right and to make you to live a life in barrenness, all right? And it brings you delays in, in getting the blessings of the Lord, delays in experiencing the harvest for your seeds, all right? And makes you to not to receive also the rewards of the Lord, all right? Because we, that, that's how we get enriched, all right? The Lord blesses us daily. He gives us the daily bread, so we are blessed every every day okay and we are also then receiving the harvest from the seeds that we plant okay and we are also rewarded for for the obedience every time that you obey the lord then he rewards us all right so satan then steals all of these things from us 
okay so now you want your things back okay so now this spirit came here to produce its own fruits what are these fruits of the chameleon spirit it is deception that is all around you chaos that is all around you confusion that is all around you it brings then a diversion from the plan of god in your life and it strips you off of your destiny all right so that is the assignment of so that you are rotating rotating um, in 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 a place where the Lord has not set you for, all right? So we get misplaced because of the chameleon, because this spirit is a lying spirit, so it diverts us. The, the assignment of the chameleon is makes you not to produce fruits, all right? So it knows that when you have lost your position, when you are not, I'm going to bring it then in, in, in the house of the Lord. When you, you go, the Lord plants people, his people in, the, in different houses for different reasons, for a different times, so, right? So when you are planted at that particular church, then you, you, you are planted by the Lord so that you harvest, all right? So then uh, the communion spirit will, will, will scatter you, all right, and chase you out of the place of your harvest. So so that when you are at that particular house that the Lord has not planted because you have been planted there by the kingdom of Satan, you cannot harvest because God is not in the business of making you to prostitute yourself and be jumping from one church to another. All right. That is the example that the Holy Spirit has dropped in me. So you cannot harvest where the Lord has not planted you in okay so then the chameleon spirit knows that so that's why it scatters that's why it removes you because it's after taking away your harvest so that you are in a place of barrenness all right so now those are the fruits of that spirit it brings you barrenness it's the fruit it brings you um it, it, it brings you shame that is the fruit of that spirit it brings you losses that's the fruit of that spirit all right it brings you damages that's the fruit of that spirit so all that fruit then all right it is it is built in your life it is in your life it is the fruit of wickedness so now you need to deal with it and have it removed from you in Jesus name all right so the Bible here says in the book of Joshua chapter 5 verse verse 9 that is after the Lord has instructed Joshua and say that circumcise all right circumcise them so that they they can they can cross the river Jordan all right and get the promises that I have given them all right these are the promises that I gave to Moses and I and I released them to you that this is the land there's a land that is overflowing with milk and honey that is for them all right but they need to be circumcised first circumcision spiritual circumcision is about salvation during this time all right so the lord then said that now now because you have been in egypt all right and wearing the shoes that were so old but not torn clothes old but not damaged or torn so now the lord is then said that 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 the curse then of rotating all right the curse of of wasting time because the chameleon comes to waste your time to divert you to make you to get into the desert and all those things and to wonder take time to get to what the lord has set for you all right so that it places you then in that desert so the lord said that now you need to remove all of that remove all the fruits of that spirit then he said to them and the lord said unto joshua this day have i rolled away the reproach of egypt 
from off you, wherefore the name of the place is Gilgal unto this day. So the Lord said that I need to remove that, all right? I need to remove the garments of the chameleon spirit. I need to remove the fruits of the chameleon spirit from you. I need to remove everything that is making you then to be, to produce the fruits of the chameleon spirit, the fruits of the kingdom of darkness instead of the fruits of the fruit of the of the true vine because it is there to to take you off they take you off the the true vine so that you you can you can produce what it has come here to deliver in your life which is pain and suffering barrenness and all that so remove them do that roll away use the scripture and say that all the reproach, reproach of the spirit of the chameleon, let it all be rolled away from me in Jesus' name. By so doing, you are removing the garments of that spirit in the name of Jesus. That is very, very, very important. All right? You need to do so. Now, getting then to the next stage, all right? The next step, uh, rather, is then you need... You need, um, you know, this is something that I always tell people, always tell people that you have not finished your warfare without demolishing the altar. You need to demolish the altar. Otherwise, this thing is started. It is something that the powers are in the altar, all right? So if you are dealing with what is, is there with you, then that altar will be releasing other demons, all right? It will come back. Then you'll find yourself that you are experiencing the same thing, all right? It is because you did not deal with the, with the altar. So at the beginning of this prayer, you weaken the foundations of the altar. Now we need to demolish the altar, make it desolate. I like it when the Lord uh, speaks it through prophet Ezekiel and say that let them be desolate. The altars must be desolate. The altars of the kingdom of Satan. So now here, you, you must know that the altar has got, a, has, got a, has got a sacrifice. So there was a sacrifice that was given in exchange in exchange for whatever harm that has been done in your life, all the blessings and, and all the harvest and so on that have been stolen from you. There was, an, there was a sacrifice. Burn it. Burn the sacrifice in Jesus' name. And also then get to the idol. Command the idol to release everything that is yours in Jesus' name. So it must bring back then, that is restoration. Bring back everything that belongs to you. And what is it that we're talking about? We're talking about your destiny. We're talking about the, we're talking about the, the, the virtues, all right? Talking about your blessings, talking about your harvest, your rewards, the glory of the Lord, because they also take the glory of the Lord. I want back my prayer life in Jesus' name. I want back my spiritual gifts, my anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. It must come back in Jesus' name. Call back everything that is yours. It has to release, all right, all those things that I kept. You know, in the strong house of the strong men, they need to be released to you, right? Use the power of the stronger men to get back everything that is yours in Jesus' name. And, and, and then, take the sword, cut off the head of the idol, cut off the head in Jesus' name, and use the sword to penetrate the heart. I like it, David, when he says that the sword of, he uses the sword to penetrate the hearts of the enemy. So use the sword to penetrate the heart of this demon, this idol, this deity that has been keeping your things, all right, in Jesus' name. And now then, we ask the Lord to release fire. Let it rain over this altar and burn it in the name of Jesus. This is fire that burns with brimstone. Ask the Lord and say that, Lord, I pray that as you release the fire, right, Prophet, Prophet Elijah prayed to the Lord that he must respond by fire. And the Lord responded by fire and released fire. Um, uh, against the, the altar, it was the altar, 
the altar of the of the of the prophets of Baal and the prophets of Asherah. All right, so then you can ask the Lord to do the same and respond by fire and release that was in Mount Carmel. So you can ask the Lord to release that fire, all right, fire that burns with brimstone and burn that altar in Jesus' name. You must burn it into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. And also then, which is now the last, this is the very last thing, the very last thing, then, this spirit is, is a deceiving spirit. It's a spirit that wasted your time. Remember when Jesus Christ was going to, to, to Jerusalem and he saw the fig tree and he, and he moved from his root to the fig tree, all right? And when he got to the fig tree, he found the fig. Having it, it has the green leaves, so it's deceiving. It has the green leaves to the eye. It's deceiving, all right, that I have figs, all right, because when it has the green leaves, it's a sign that it has the figs. But when Jesus Christ got to, to this fig tree, he found it without figs, all right? That is what the chameleon spirit does. is a deceiving spirit. So Jesus Christ cursed the fig tree with barrenness. Curse the roots of the fig tree with barrenness. So now, what and what he was doing is to make the spirit never ever again. All right, come and deceive and deceive him. All right. So now, this is what you also need to do: curse the roots of the chameleon spirit. All right, with barrenness, that it will never ever release the spirits of, 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 of deception against you, all right, of backstabbing against you. In the name of Jesus, all these spirits of wickedness that are, are, that are assigned, that, that are released by the chameleon spirit, all right? So you need to release them and to curse the roots with barrenness in Jesus' name. And when you are doing that, it will never ever come back to you in Jesus' name. You are putting a full stop and say that in Jesus' name, it will never happen. In the name of Jesus. So, have you received anything? I believe this so. And I'm asking you, because I know that there are so many people, many people in your circle who are attacked by the chameleon spirit so please don't eat this information for yourself the reason that the lord brought you to this channel is because he wants you to spread this word so spread the word all right share it all right so that it can help other people because i know that you have been blessed by it and now please don't forget to subscribe all right like this message all right and also comment don't forget to comment and say and, and even ask questions so as i said to you that i read every message every comment that comes through this channel all right and also even give us suggest as to what messages that you would like to get from this channel and also don't forget then to to hit the bell so that uh, you are the first to know when we have the new uploads in this channel. I am Apostle Praise, and in the name of Jesus, I am praying that this message be sealed with the powerful blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. And I pray that let the blood of Jesus Christ protect the hearer of this message and also protect the doer of the way that is connected to this message in Jesus' name. And now I put the seal of the blood of Jesus Christ and I pray to the Lord of hosts to release the angels to protect this message in Jesus' name. It's Apostle Praise. I'm signing off. See you next time.